Hello everybody, here is Mohamed and welcome to my channel. Imagine with me you have a piece of code, which you want to run it automatically at specific time, or maybe each period of time, every 2 minutes, every 10 seconds, and so on. Xuju have for you the solution, this is the timer, which is the subject of this video. Let's say your app retrieve data from a database and show the results on a list box. It will be a good idea if this list box would update itself every 5 seconds for example. Or maybe you have a happy hour system and you want that some data will be retrieved only at a specific time. Let me show you how to do this. We go to the library and put the timer so easily on our project. If we go to the inspector and take a look on this behavior area, we will see two points. Run mode is multiple and period is 1000. This 1000 means one second because this is 1000 millisecond. And multiple means we will try to run a piece of code every one second. But which piece of code? This is the code under the action event on the timer. So every one second, he will go here and try to run the code, which I will write it after a few seconds. Let me please change the thousand to five thousand, because I said I want that my list box update itself every five seconds. So I need there. 5000 milliseconds. I will take a list box and edit so quickly on the inspector and say I need the two columns. We have a header and I need only a product and quantity, for example. So this is the two columns. Uh, let me now write the code. Now our code is ready to be executed every 5 seconds. Uh, I have here the uh, database on my terminal so we could see directly uh, everything. I will run here the app and we should see this stuff here after 5 seconds. And yes, it works. So now if I will uh, make, let's say, some changes, uh, for example, I will make an insert uh, into products. So let's say uh, prod name, comma, prod quantity. I don't know uh, which fruit now we should add, but let me add some orange, for example. Orange and the quantity will be let's say 55 and I will run this so the orange should appear here with 55 now let's say I want to make some update uh, on the products uh, table let's say um, I want to set the quantity uh, for example of the um, of the apple from 75 to let's say 82 so 82 where prod underscore name is equal to I said apple so let's run this and as you see apple have now 82 so it's enough I think with examples now you see that it works let's move on
Um, now I want to show you how to run the code at a specific time. So I go here and write here back the 1000 milliseconds because I want that he tried to run it every second. But at the time which I will choose now, that's why I need to declare a new date. And I will write here an if statement and I will say t hour and d minutes and t second. So now we have 18.51. Let's say we want to run all the stuff at uh, 18.53, for example. So I will write there 18, and the minute uh, should be equal to 53, and the seconds should be equal to 0, so exactly at 53. So I go here down and close the if statement and save and run the code. So now we should wait a little bit until 53. Perfect, he runs the code at the desired time. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe the channel to see more. See you next time. Bye-bye.